our viewers just a few facts and pointers about overpopulation. Overpopulation and climate change form a deadly compound attack against food security. Imagine a situation whereby a given geographical area that is already on the verge of ecological and societal collapse due to the ecological footprint of a given population being also simultaneously afflicted by climate change. A very deadly situation indeed. Climate change is indeed a food security threat multiplier. According to the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, the variability in the yield of cereal crops in semi-arid regions is at least 80% as a result of climate variability. Since the 1990s, the number of extreme weather-related disasters has doubled, which has led to a decrease in the yield of major crops, which in turn has led to an increase in food prices and a corresponding decrease in incomes. According to an FAO report, between 2005 and 2015, natural disasters cost the agricultural sectors of developing countries a staggering $96 billion in damaged or lost crop and livestock production. Did you know, viewers, that while increased atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide increases the growth rates of cereal crops, the downside is that carbon dioxide decreases the nutritional value of these cereal crops by lowering the concentrations of proteins, micronutrients, and vitamin B in the crops. Another fact to note is that the global food production system contributes one-third of the greenhouse gas emissions, while two-thirds of the food is lost between farm and table, which introduces a negative feedback loop, whereby these losses exacerbate climate change while not contributing at all to food security and nutrition. With the vast majority of the world's hungry exposed to climate shocks, food security will require bold steps in improving people's ability to prepare, respond and recover. Failing this, it is estimated that hunger and malnutrition will increase by up to 20% by the year 2050. Okay, viewers, we will be revisiting these issues from time to time and discussing them in detail from time to time as we go along. 